Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about one of my favourite wardrobe items that I haven't really talked about that much, the perfect dress. <music> dress which you can adapt to many occasions and that is universally flattering is tricky to find isn't it? But I think I've got the answer for you in this video. Of course the perfect dress doesn't just have to be right for whatever you want to wear it for but it also needs to be right for your body shape. So first in this video I'm going to be talking about what kind of shape dress you need to be looking for for each body shape to be flattering and to make the best of yourselves and also the types of dresses that you should not be looking for. And then I'll reveal what I consider is the perfect dress and I'll be styling it up in different ways as well. So by the end of the video, you will be armed with a guide to know what sort of dress to look out for for your own personal body shape for different occasions, formal or informal. So let's dive straight into the first body shape and look at some of the dresses that you might consider wearing and those you might not want to think about wearing. So the first body shape that we're going to look at for dresses is dresses for an hourglass body shape. So if you describe yourself as curvy with a full bust, hips and thighs, but a well-defined waist, you are incredibly lucky and you are an hourglass lady. So of course the goal to creating the best look uh, for each body shape is to aim to look balanced, top and bottom, and we are all honestly aiming to look like you hourglass lady. Dresses were absolutely made for you. It's all about celebrating your waist and curves and opening up the neckline as well for the most flattering shape. You are the one that looks drop dead gorgeous in Hollywood styles, particularly vintage fit and flare shape, but you can just as easily wear something floaty as well as long as you belt the waist. So look for dresses with these elements. What to wear? Number one is open necklines. This opens up even more of a flattering look for you. Number two, V necklines as well. Three is cinched in or belted waists. This makes the best of your beautiful waist, slender waist, you lucky thing. And number four is form-fitting tops, which will also make the best of your beautiful bust. So for example, a wrap dress would be absolutely perfect for you, such as this one from Hobbs. Now this is a gorgeous red wrap dress with a belt. Um, it is perfect for the upcoming seasons, of course. Um, it's, it's 50 pounds off at the moment as well, just as an interesting point but it would be absolutely beautiful for your lovely curvaceous um, curves uh, or this one here from Bowdoin which also comes in other designs as well because you can get that globally too now this is a fixed wrap jersey midi dress it's a darkish color um, it's a classic navy so you can do all sorts of things with it in terms of changing the accessories there is also a geometric green one and one with stars as well so go and have a look at that so what not to wear? Well, first of all, baby doll dresses. I mean, seriously. I think we're a little bit over baby doll dresses, ladies. Secondly, shapeless, loose styles. Now, really, you are wasting your beautiful assets, ladies, if you choose to wear shapeless, loose styles. Really, you need to embrace your curves. Thirdly, empire waist dresses, because they don't make the best of your slender waist. And oversized and unstructured dresses in general just don't make the best of you. So let's move on to dresses for pear shapes. Now, girls, you have a thinner top upper body than your lower body, so you look amazing in those wonderful oversized blouses and shirts. Um, you have larger hips and soft feminine curves. So the aim is to appear more balanced and proportioned. So you need to add volume to the upper part of the body in order to counterbalance the larger bottom half of the body. So what to wear? Firstly, Dresses with strapless tops, because this will make more of your upper body and make it look a little bit wider to counterbalance the lower part. Um, a fitted open neckline, that always looks very, very good with this shape. A plunging V neckline or scoop neck, again it adds interest to the upper part of the body. Um, an A-line or full skirt to hide, to skim over the wider hip. 
and bell sleeves. Now bell sleeves are really useful because they take the attention of the eye out here at the top and again balance the lower part of the body. So overall aim for dresses with details uh, or interest in the chest area uh, to bring attention up away from the hips. You could wear an interesting collar or a neck scarf, something like that, to get the interest up above. Now, V-necklines are wonderful for you, um, or an open neckline, of course. Now, fit and flare dresses are perfect for you as well because they are roomier from the waist down, so that covers up the lower part, um, and they give more volume, therefore, to the top part. So, what not to wear? Firstly, oversized and shapeless styles. Again, for you ladies, this is not going to do you any favours. It's just going to add width and volume. Secondly, very full skirts with lots of detailing in the skirt. You want the detailing and the interest at the top, not at the bottom of the skirt. Thirdly, very short hemlines. Um, they just emphasise the width of your thighs. Not a good look. And figure-hugging materials and bodycon styles. So, this dress... Again from Bowdoin, such good quality. Um, with bell sleeves, they will take away all the attention from the wider part of the body. Also has a V-neck, a loose skirt, and the hemline is below the knee, which is really flattering for your body shape as well. The next body shape that I'm focusing on is number three, dresses for athletic or rectangular shapes. Now, it sounds great to be athletic, of course, but actually what we're trying to do is to add shape and feminine curves. Often, if you're an athletic lady, uh, your silhouette is slightly narrower in the hips than in the shoulders. So you can sometimes get a little bit confused as to whether you're an athletic type or an inverted triangle like I do. And sometimes athletic types do have a good size bust as well. But of course, athletic ladies don't have a well-defined waist, um, and this is where we need to create the shape. So the key is to balance the upper body with the lower, narrower part of the body, whilst giving the illusion of a narrower waist. Of course, we're all aiming to be the hourglass lady. So what type of dresses should you be wearing? Well, firstly, ruffles in strategic places. Now, by that I mean ruffles in the skirt. You know, you get those beautiful dresses where you get ruffles down the side um, or in at the bottom of these lovely wrap dresses, something like that, which gives you more volume at the bottom. Any volume increasing details as well in the skirt, such as an A-line shaped skirt, that always looks good. But at the top, an, a V or a U shaped neckline, again, to bring the attention down. Dresses that flare out slightly, very eternally flattering and cinched in waists, um, not exactly belted, but cinched in with some shape going inwards. Of course, the idea is to make your body look more feminine. Now, if you want to add a belt, choose a skinny belt, which will help to add definition, not a wide belt. And if you're of the curvy variety of athlete, show off your assets as and when you feel is appropriate. So what not to wear as an athletic body shape? Firstly, hemlines that are too short because they will make your top half look heavier, which you don't want to do. Strapless dresses, um, they're not good for this shape either. And stretchy fabrics around the torso. So a couple of really lovely dresses for you. Uh, something like this gorgeous Banks knit dress from Reformation. I just love this. This is in Chianti Red. Lovely colour for this time of the year as well. Um, or a more dressy look uh, for considerably less money is this gorgeous green wrap dress here, which gives shape and swing to the skirt. Again, giving you more feminine shape. Um, they also do this one in a plus size as well. So it'd be perfect for also for the next body shape that we're going to be looking at. Okay, so for the last body shape before I reveal the perfect dress, we're going to look at dresses for apple shapes. So if you carry your weight in your midsection, then you are an apple shape. You may have a shorter, undefined waist, but you will have beautiful slim legs. So how should you choose the most flattering dress? What to wear? Firstly, any dress that draws attention to the upper body particularly also because you may well have some good assets up there that will be uh, nice to show. Secondly, um, styles that conceal your midsection, of course. Now, these will include things like A-line, uh, belted, swing or drop waists. 
show your legs as well don't be frightened to show your legs sometimes it's really flattering to wear a skirt that's just above the knee for this uh, shape of a body and wrap dresses with full skirts so all of these styles create a flattering effect on apple shapes so what shouldn't you go for first of all horizontal lines obviously for obvious reasons um, it's very difficult for many people to carry off secondly natural waistlines because you know this is where your problems are so you don't want to draw attention to that area thirdly fitted tops be careful about that and clingy fabrics around the middle anything you do you want to draw attention away from your middle section so this dress would be perfect for you it's got a gorgeous line to it it's a wrap which is very flattering and it's going to show off your legs without being too short so if we look at each of the things that flatter all the body types clearly they have different needs however there are certain common elements that suit all so they all flatter v-necks or open necklines cinched in waists Fairly structured dresses, but not clinging. Body skimming, but not tight. An A-line skirt with a slight flare. And the effect of a wrap dress. So I'd like to show you a dress, which I think has all of these elements. And I'd like to show you the, the dress in action. And it was going to be styled up in different ways as well. So, ta-da! So this dress is from Sasanda. And it's one of my favourite companies as well. It's absolutely beautiful and very versatile. It's, as you can see, it's an animal print. So it's got this special mood boosting kind of effect. Um, but it's not in your face animal print. It's the cobalt blue as well. So that's a beautiful colour that you can wear right from now into the winter and even into the beginning of spring. It's a bold colour. It's going to lift and brighten. Uh, one of those beautiful colours that cheers you up just to look at it. It's got a ruched front as well, as you can see there, which is super flattering, sort of cinched in, a little bit ruched. So there's the element of bringing the waist in, but without showing too much uh, attention to the waist area. It's got a V-neck as well, which looks great on all of these body shapes and does make the best of your uh, bust if you've got a good bust as well. Um, ruched sleeves as well, uh, which is also very nice, nice little detailing. It echoes the ruching in the front. Um, you can style it in so many different ways, which I'm going to show you actually in a second. Um, it's 100% viscose, which is nice. It's also lined. Now the lining in the skirt is polyester, but actually the rest of the dress is all viscose and the top part is all viscose um, very forgiving on the tummy it just falls over the tummy it doesn't draw attention to the tummy but it gives you a nice shape and a nice silhouette now what I've teamed it with here is some long black leather boots uh, which these ones are Bowden they're really beautiful really classy um, and it's a lovely combination with the black accessories now there's some other ones that I found for you too these Vince Camuto ones they're for wider calves you know, sometimes these long boots actually get a bit too tight on the calves if we're not careful. So these are really useful for wider calves. Now, I've also added um, a black blazer. Now, this makes a nice outfit for slightly more dressy, uh, maybe a work uh, thing. This one is from Massimo Dutti. Love Massimo Dutti. They're the up uh, market version of Zara really. There's a cheaper version here H&M which is also beautiful, very classic and you can get that also globally of course. So I'm just going to show you here a second way which is quite similar but look to slightly different styling. Now here obviously the same dress I'm wearing it with black tights. Now these are great black tights you must have a look at these they're some of the best ones some great ones on Amazon. They're 40 deniers so they're warm but they're very slightly sheer but not they're not totally opaque so they don't look thick and heavy. Also wearing it with sock boots. Now I've got some lovely sock boots here from Marks and Spencers from the UK. There's a link for the UK, also the US and Australia, New Zealand as well. They are pretty global these days. Now sock boots, I love sock boots because they're boots, but they've got the softness of a sock. So they don't rub the ankle and they're very good to wear with dresses like this, where a normal ankle boot might look a little bit heavy. 
And then my look three is an evening look because this is a particularly beautiful dress that you can go from daytime straight to evening just with a change of accessories. So look three. Here I've teamed it with some strappy heels. Now these ones, um, these ones I found you from Express. You can get them on all over the place really, uh, but these are beautiful ones. These are mango actually. I'll put the link for both of those um, under the video. Now what I've also popped on is a beautiful stunning faux fur wrap in black now this is perfect it's not a coat obviously so you don't have that sort of heftiness and bulkiness of a coat but it's perfect for the evening just to pop on top of your dress now there is a beautiful one from revolve little pricey um, so I've chosen a slightly cheaper one here called the All Night Faux Fur Jacket from Free People. Now it comes also in cream and in burgundy. So if you have a different colour dress, a cream one is absolutely beautiful, particularly in the, in the festive period. Cream is beautiful. So you can see I've actually popped on some gold jewellery here. Um, statement jewellery is also a really good look for the evening. This dress is not so patterned that it stops you adding statement jewellery as well that's another reason why I love it so much um, you could also wear dangly earrings gold or silver goes equally well with this sort of a dress so I'd really love to hear what you think of the dresses that I've shown you here also some of the ideas that I've given you for each different body shape and the dress that might suit them and my beautiful um, Sassanda cobalt blue dress just love this dress, can take you anywhere. So I really hope you can find a favourite or even several favourites and do drop comments in the comments box below this video. I love to hear from you. I also love it if you give me a thumbs up if you've liked the video as well. And of course, all the links to everything that I've got in the video are in the description underneath. So hope you've really enjoyed it. Please do comment and like and subscribe too. <laughs> um, and I hope you have a really amazing day and I'll see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye.